Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am the owner of a sticker shop called Nicole Alexia Designs um, and I make uh, plan with me's and vlogs and <laughs> you know, just different planner related content. What a weird intro, you guys, it's too early in the morning. Anyway, so this week I am going to be planning using our Dreamer collection. This was a new release this week. Um, this is going to be going up on Sunday, so these will still be at the discounted price um, that goes away on Monday. So $12 for the four page kit, $15 for the luxe kit, which is the one that I'm using here. I am also going to be using um, a ton of different foil functional items from our shop. Um, I want to pick up some other items from other shops. I've got a vlog coming up in a day or so where I'm going to be going through my entire sticker collection, de-stashing organizing, just kind of going through everything. Um, and after I do that, I want to get back into purchasing regularly from other shops. I stopped for the longest time. Um, it's probably been three or four months, I wanna say, since I bought anything from another shop, uh, maybe longer, but I want to start picking things up. So if you have any recommendations for either kits or foil, layering type items, um, stuff like that, please leave those shops in the comments down below. I'm going to be picking up a bunch of stuff during the Ultimate Planner sale that is coming up um, here in, I think it's in two weeks. We're part of that. I'm an admin for that sale. And I definitely want to check out a bunch of shops during that. But I just, I just want to buy stickers. I don't know. I feel like I've been kind of getting really back into planning, not even just for YouTube or for the shop, but really just um, while I'm sitting and working, I've been pulling out a planner and kind of just going day by day and just kind of playing around with stuff and kind of re-falling in love with it. So if you guys have any recommendations, again, please leave them in the comments down below so that I can go pick stuff up. Um, yeah, I'm using a planner from OK Plans. I will link her down below. This is just a standard vertical and I really love it. I love that there's just these basic lines. Um, I find it very easy to plan in this. I've got a couple more planners that I'm using as well, uh, but they're pretty much all the same. So this is more my YouTube planner. So like I said, I am using the Dreamer collection and then just a ton of random stuff from the shop. Um, I'm using these lace headers over top of my full boxes. I need to put these back in the shop because I took them down and I am loving how this looks. Um, this is honestly one of my favorite layering spreads that I've done. I find that if I do a voiceover instead of doing like a chatty style plan with me that I um, can kind of concentrate better. I don't get as distracted because I'm not trying to figure out what to talk about. And I think that the spread ends up coming out better. So I'm gonna keep doing them this way. Um, hopefully that's okay. I think most people prefer the, the sped up because then the videos aren't quite so long. Um, but yeah, I, the way that this turned out is just, I'm obsessed. I'm definitely kind of getting the hang of the layering thing. Um, and I don't have deco this week, which I thought was going to be a problem, but it turned out not to be a problem at all um, with the layering. I find that if you do have deco, it's definitely a bit easier to do some layering, but uh, just with uh, clear foil functionals and some foil like frames and boxes, I was able to make this work. So I went ahead and put down all of my full boxes first and my date covers and my bottom washi. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my sidebar. Um, my laptop, my new laptop was delivered on Monday and it turned out that the new laptops do not have the regular like USB ports or the SD card slot, which I did not realize. So I had to order an adapter uh, that came yesterday, which was Saturday. So I finally am able to sit down and edit videos on my laptop. So I should have more content coming out um, than I have in the past little bit, just because it was about, well, it was over a month since I've had a laptop. Um, and editing in my office is just kind of a pain, especially with the dogs. So anyway, back to the spread. Sorry, I'm all over the place this morning. So for my sidebar, I did my quote box up at the top. I did a piece of washi with a divider, and then I did a daily tracker, one of our string layering pieces, string lights layering pieces, and then a tracker with a workout script and then another full box down at the bottom. I've been playing around a lot with the sidebars because I'm not somebody who really uses a sidebar, especially since when I'm doing these spreads, I'm doing a um, like a rewind spread. This is more of a memory plan. So it doesn't really matter so much once I'm doing it that way, but since I didn't have deco this week, I ended up 
um, just doing this this way. I want to try some different things though. Um, the next time that I have deco, I've got an idea of kind of what I want to try. So moving over to Monday, I am using one of the string boxes from the layering sheets and I'm just going to write in pay DVC. Um, and then over to the side underneath it, I layered a flourish, one of our larger flourishes underneath that. And then I ended up doing one of the banners from the layering sheet as well as one of the boxes and then another flourish underneath that. And I'm going to write in MacBook delivery and setup. And I really love how that little like section turned out. I thought that was really cute. I like how it's spaced out. That's something I've been working on is just trying to figure out how to space things so that it doesn't either look like too empty or too crammed together. Um, so I really like how this one ended up turning out. I just recorded 10 minutes of voiceover and for some reason, none of it actually recorded. <laughs> Oh, okay, so let me uh, try this again here. I don't like doing this because then I feel like I don't know what I've already talked about, but I'm gonna do my best. So, underneath that, I used one of these boxes and I wrote in Gymshark Sale. It took me like three times to get this the way that I wanted it. Uh, but they are one of my favorite places to purchase um, like gym clothes from, and they had 50, 40, and 30% off of most of their items. So I ended up picking up a few pairs of leggings and they ended up being like 20 or $30 a piece. So if you are someone who likes that kind of stuff, that sale is still going on. Um, they probably are sold out of a lot, but definitely check that out. Moving up to Tuesday, I put in a box as well as this salad icon and wrote in HelloFresh. So these icons never made it to the shop because I had a lot of problems foiling them. But something that I'm about to start working on is reformatting our icons and bringing them on premium matte paper instead of clear. Um, the problem with the clear paper is it it sticks too much a lot of the times and I can't get the tiny little foil elements to really um, not foil, I guess is what I want to say. But with premium matte, I am able to fix that. I'm able to wipe them and not get the foil everywhere. So I want to kind of switch everything back over to premium matte as far as icons go. Um, so that will be coming soon. Underneath that, I did $3 Tuesday with a string light banner as well as a flourish. That's another thing I asked in the Facebook group and on Instagram if you guys would prefer for $2 or $3 Tuesday to come out with Foil Friday. That way you can order it one time and not pay shipping twice. I think it's going to be easier on me. We're going to do that as a trial run. Um, we do have a bunch of layering sheets in a new color palette on the website right now. Um, I put those up yesterday after I got the poll results. I'm gonna try it out for a few weeks. That's kind of the only way for me to be able to see if it's gonna work for me. Um, I, think it, I think it should, but it may end up being an issue with processing. If it is, I'm just going to start releasing them on Monday or Tuesday again, and then I'll do um, combining of orders for those. So underneath that, I did edit and upload blog, and then clean kitchen down at the bottom. Um, moving over to Wednesday, I am obsessed with how Wednesday turned out. So I put in um, one of the string boxes, a flourish underneath it, and then a paw print dainty icon, and then wrote in Aspen at seven. Um, underneath that, I put in a header with a divider. I think this is 007 on top of it. Underneath that, I did a half box. I did a um, dining icon family time script and then underneath all of that is a flourish. And then at the very bottom, I put in um, one of the little like switch icons and a flourish and wrote in Retrocade. So on Wednesday, we had like a date night with um, Colby's sisters, the one sister's husband, the other sister's boyfriend. And then after dinner, we went to the this place in Asheville called the Retrocade, which is like a bar slash 80s arcade. It's a really neat place. I used to go somewhat often before COVID. And then obviously once COVID hit, I, we've not really been doing anything or going anywhere with anyone. So it was really nice to be able to go sit down and have dinner and then also go out and do something like that because we just haven't. Um, I was a little bit freaked out, I'm not gonna lie, because it's not a big place and there were people there. Um, but we're, I mean, we're vaccinated, so, you know, I, we're trying to just kind of get back to some version of normal. Um, it just, it feels very weird to be out in a place like that after everything that's happened, you know, over the past year, year and a half. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that we did it and we had a really good time. So, uh, moving over to the second half of the week on Thursday, I did a bow circle with a little, um, clipboard checklist icon and wrote in paper order. 
Underneath that, I did one of those scalloped headers. I don't know if I already said this. I don't think I did because the voiceover cut off. I'm gonna be reformatting our kits, and one thing that I want to change is the headers. And I wanna put in these scalloped little bow headers. I think they are so cute. I love them so much. Um, and I wanna just, there's a bunch of stuff that I wanna change in the kits now that I'm getting into um, kinda like the groove of the layering and everything. I think that we need some more of like those scalloped banners like what I just put down on Friday. We need different headers. We need different types of boxes. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, another thing that I want to do is put in some kind of like long flags to layer with. You guys are about to see on the bottom of, well, no, it's Saturday. It's not Friday. Um, on the bottom of Friday though, I do one of these scalloped. These were meant to go vertically. I put it horizontally. I want more things like that, that we can kind of like layer with. Um, what I'm putting down right now is about to get pulled back up. So I'm thinking we need like some long flags. I don't, you guys, any suggestions that you have, leave them down below. Um, I'm just gonna start playing around with the format later today. That's one thing I wanna do. And then also, again, I don't know if I mentioned this since this is the second time I'm doing this voiceover. I am doing, um, or I'm gonna be editing soon, a vlog where I'm going through all of my stickers. You know what, I think I did say this. Mm, I'm gonna stop because I'm pretty sure that I did. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to remember what I did and didn't talk about. Anyway, so underneath I did paper delivery and then I did a string divider, pizza plus shark tank with a pizza icon. We had a really relaxing Friday night, which was nice. We ordered pizza so that I didn't have to cook. And then Shark Tank is the current show that we're like re-binging. Um, we're watching old episodes on Hulu. Moving over to Saturday, I did a divider and then I did a box with post office and a cup of coffee. You guys, I was so mad. My body now is used to waking up ridiculously early from going to the gym every day, and I would like to sleep in on the weekends, but it's not happening. Um, so I woke up incredibly early and decided, since I was already up, to package some more orders, take them to the post office. After the post office, I ran a couple of errands. So down at the bottom, I love how this turned out. I thought I was gonna hate it, but I really like it. So I did a piece of washi and I put it vertically. Then I did this frame and then I did this script icon. I need to reformat these and bring them back. Um, I think they're available in the shop on clear, but I wanna do them on premium. And then I did a leaf header over to the left of that piece of washi. So this is what I'm talking about as far as things to kind of layer with. I don't want it to have to be a piece of washi. I wanna do either some more of like the scalloped ones, like what's next to that um, or something. So I did, the flourish and then a larger flourish and then I did the like larger what horizontal box I don't know what to call this and then a grocery icon in the center of it um, and I just love how how the bottom of Saturday turned out so for Sunday I did the same thing but with a smaller piece of washi and I like that this had the foiling so whatever I end up doing as far as like a longer strip I definitely want to do some that have some foil on them um, I did a frame and then I did another one of those flourishes underneath that these flourishes are like my new favorite thing. Um, they take up space, they make things look pretty, and that's, you know, that's all I can ask for. <laughs> I did a, fi a film reel in the center of that because that's what I'm doing most of today is editing, uploading, filming, um, and then underneath that, another one of those scalloped headers that I wanna put into the kits. How cute is that? I just think it's adorable. And I think it works really well as like a dividing piece. Um, underneath that, I ended up doing one of these small boxes from the layering sheet with a cleaning icon and a flourish, and I really love how this turned out as well. I kind of wonder if maybe for kits that don't have deco, I could do like a, a sheet that was colored that had a bunch of these flourishes on it. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, you guys let me know what you think about that. I think that could be something to do instead of deco that would work out well. And then underneath that, I just did a piece of washi. Um, one of the string overlays and then a computer icon and I wrote in kit reform plus freebies because I couldn't fit reformat <laughs> and then um, I want to redo our freebies. I'm going to try to start redoing them monthly so we don't have a PR team anymore which means we don't have PR freebies that technically ended June 1st but I've still been giving the freebies. I made an announcement on I think Friday or Thursday that we aren't going to be doing that anymore. So I am instead doing like an ambassador program. Um, if you're interested, the applications are currently on the website and it's not a PR team. Um, 
basically I've got something set up on the back end of Shopify that is going to track purchases and referrals for the people that have codes. And that way they're actually able to earn shop credit without me having to do anything extra. So they're not going to have samplers. They do have codes. I'm not going to be sharing, like doing a post to share them that way since they don't have samplers. Um, but if you're interested in that, please go apply. We are looking for people who are very active on Instagram, um, YouTube, Facebook, stuff like that. That's not how I normally pick a team, but for the, it's not a team. That's, I, that's the problem. So since it's not a PR team, I'm just looking for people, um, that are super active and that's mostly so that they can earn that credit. Um, since I won't be sharing anything, that's kind of the only way they'll be able to. But anyway, I digress. So Christy and Emily are part of our like permanent team. So they already have codes and I'm working on um, just seeing how it's it's going for them right now before I pick anybody. I don't have a date that I'm going to be picking anybody and that application will always be up. So anyway, this is the finished spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm obsessed. Like this... I love how this looks. I think it turned out beautifully. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.